Welcome, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Well, I'm down here in my workshop and I wanted to share some tips and ideas with you and how you could take a 55 gallon barrel and convert it to use for garden compost tea. So I'm really glad you could join me today. So anyhow, I just love these drums. You know, these are 55 gallons capacity. Uh, I got this from an Ace Hardware store down the street. Uh, guy there sells them on the side. But, you know, they're just indestructible, these 55 gallon containers. Uh, you can probably find them on Craigslist, you know, or somewhere. But yeah, I got it for $5. I thought it was a real steal. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, actually cut the lid on this uh, out and uh, hinge it so that I can, uh, put all my compost tea in here. And, you know, here at Plant Smart Living, uh, I make my compost tea out of uh, alfalfa meal. I fill the barrel up and probably put a, maybe even half a gallon of uh, alfalfa pellets in there. And then I'm also going to add some of my composted leaf mulch to this container. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get my watering can and measure the size of that and then uh, mark this container here so then I can cut the top of this container out and create a lid for this that's going to open and close. So anyhow, you know, the idea of having a lid here, uh, I think it's a good idea. It keeps any kind of mosquitoes out or, or any kind of critter or pests or bugs. And so, uh, I mean, you don't even need to cut a door out of this if you don't want to. Basically, just cut the whole lid off and stick a sheet of plywood on there. But uh, I'm going to make the, the lid or the door out of the, the plastic itself again that way I know it's going to really last a long time I won't have to worry about anything wood rotting of any type so anyhow I measured my my watering can to make sure it would fit through the opening here I'm cutting an opening that's 8 inches by 16 inches and the easiest thing I did was to, to in order to mark the top of the lid I cut a piece of plastic out here the size of the the opening and then I'm just going to simply trace around it I like using these flat carpenter pencils they really uh, leave a nice mark here on the barrel so what I'm going to do next then is I'm going to start to cut out the uh, the hole on the barrel here so that we could uh, then put the hinges on so before I cut out the barrel I want to uh, mount my hinges, okay, and what I'm using here, these are uh, like a half inch zip-in screw. They have a, a point on the end and they really go in this plastic real nice. And so I want to mount my hinges before I cut out the plastic. And so I just had some old hinges laying around that I use. I like repurposing things around the house and so you can see how nice and easy they go into the barrel so what I'm doing is I'm the reason I'm doing it this way is I'm getting all the screws holes already pierced through and lined up that way once I cut the barrel lid out I'll just simply reinstall the hinge and everything will be all lined up for you so that's really a good good tip on how to make your lid line up again so they just zip in right through the plastic and they're, they're going to easily hold the lid and these are nice they have a hex head on them so it gives you good grip in and I just I use a hex head bit for that and so so what I'm going to do next then is remove these hinges and then cut the lid out so before I cut the hinge out, or the lid out, what I decided to do is, or remember what I wanted to do was add a, a slide bolt to the other side of this lid. And so what I want to do is I also want to then line up this slide bolt. And the slide bolt will help keep the, the uh, 
with the lid locked in. So I'm simply going to just add these zip screws uh, on the uh, slide bolt. And so I have four on one end and two on the other. Again, this way all the, the holes are all pre-lined up. So anyhow, now they, I have my two hinges mounted, I have the, the one slide bolt mounted, and we're ready now to cut the lid out. So what I'm going to use to cut the uh, lid out is a, it's called a multi-tool. And uh, it's got a little a blade on the end, and it vibrates. And so this is one of the most versatile tools that I have. Uh, in my shop or in my truck that I use on jobs. And so what I'm going to do is just uh, cut some of this lid out and then uh, install the hinges. This is kind of loud so I'm only going to run it for a few seconds. So all told, it might take me five minutes to cut the lid out. It's really not going to be that difficult. You could also use a saber saw or a jigsaw if you have one of those. That will also work. And so I'm going to cut this lid out and then mount the hinges. So anyhow, I got the lid all cut out. You know, before again, I cut it out just to go over this again. I mounted the hinges where they belong and then I also mounted the slide bolt. And then I cut the plastic out. Uh, right where the hinges go and then I remounted the hinges and I did the same thing with the slide bolt and then I finished cutting the rest of the lid out and that way when I put the the hinges back on the slide bolt the lid just uh, aligned real real nice in, in the barrel and so you know you just want to maybe get a, some sandpaper and lightly smooth off the, the edges there may be some burrs left on the on the plastic but anyhow the you know the lid Works out real nice that the, the uh, barrel or slide bolt holds the lid in place. And you know, this barrel's pretty much indestructible. And probably what I'll do is I'll get some Rust Oleum paint, maybe paint this a hunter green, or maybe even use a brown paint to, to uh, make it blend into my garden. So, and then, then the watering can, you know, once you fill this with your compost tea, you'll just lower your your uh, watering can in and fill it up with your compost tea and so I hope to do a video sometime this week on on uh, building and creating some compost tea for your garden and so uh, I think this has really worked out really nice. So this project here probably took me about an hour altogether you know again I had some, some hinges laying around in the slide bolt and I uh, was able to buy the barrel for five dollars and so you know, you might even pay up to $20 for it, but uh, nevertheless, it's indestructible. You'll have it for a lifetime. Uh, these barrels, the, the plastics in these are just amazing. They seem to, just to be very durable. And so, so anyhow, if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them in the section below. And so, I'm excited here at Plant Smart Living. The season is just starting, and so, uh, like I said, I'll be doing a video uh, in a couple days on how to to uh, create your own uh, compost garden tea. So I just want to thank you for joining me today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.